One second. Let's get you on video. Sure. That's right with you. Okay. All right. One, two, three, go. So we coded up using this pressure sensitive keyboard, kind of a biometric keyboard. What it is, there's a machine learning algorithm running behind this, it uses some neural network techniques. It learns what's unique about how you type the word. So on the screen here, we've got the way Jeb types the word password on the top line right there. And then if you type the word password, it will take your characteristics and try to compare them to Jeff's and then use it as an additional layer of access control. So I can tell you my password. Unless you can type it the same way I do, you're not going to be able to get into the system. It's extremely robust. We were able to do um, some human trials on our SMU. And we basically went until someone broke it because we didn't want to come back here and say we 100% of the time it worked. 99%, 99.4% of the time, if you're not me, you're not able to log into my account. And then 96% of the time, me and Jeff were able to log in the first time we typed it. Um, so we've been logging test at night. No one tonight's been able to get below 100. Um, Jeff's score, when he types it, he'll get about a 30. So it's pretty robust. Um, the other really cool thing about this is, so for our test data, we allowed users to sit down and type it 10 to 15 times, which is a normal password system would just lock you out. What ours does is if you sit there for 10 to 15 times and you type up the word password, and you're not getting it, instead of locking you out, it'll let you keep going and it'll learn how you type and then log you as a malicious user. And so normally you'd expect that as you type it, you're going to get better and better and better. It actually is going to get more and more confident that you're not Jeff because it's recognized your unique characteristics and you're going to get worse and worse and worse even though you feel like you're getting better and better and better. So we actually see a reverse in that trend, which is really unique, I think. But if you want to give it a shot, type a password We actually... I mean, it seems like this. So here's, like I said, Jeff's. So you can see he's got a couple. The machine learning algorithm learns the unique things about his keystroke. So his really unique characteristics are these little groups right here. You can see he doesn't let go of the A key before he pushes down on the S. So you can tell he's doing that with two different fingers. Um, and then here's yours. Okay. And then here's the normalized for the comparison. So it's telling us that you did pretty good on pressure curve, pretty good on hold time. So your hold times, your flight times are pretty consistent. You can see S and W and S and W looks about the same length. Where you're off is your flight and your pressure. So your pressures are a lot deeper than his. Uh, and then your flight times are a lot different. And that usually means you're not getting this. So you have this big gap between R and D, whereas he's not even completely off the R key before he pushes down the D. Same thing with A and S right here. So your score is 223. I bet if we can get Jeff to humble over here. He'll can get about a 30 on it. Yeah. Can we convince Jeff to do it? Jeff. Oh, sorry. Can you get a second there? Kind of oh, yeah, sure. Video. And he wanted to know about your uh, least squared fit. Oh, sure. So there's password. 45. So it's 60. So if it's below 60, then you'll you'll be let in. Uh, so I've been getting usually pretty consistently below 60, and uh, most everybody else seems to be. We only have one person get below 100, um, and everybody else has been you know, way above 100, anywhere up to 1,000. So so far so good. But, uh, yeah. Do you have any questions? I don't know what I could explain to you. Or okay. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Sure.